What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm going to be calling motivated sellers live, recording my phone calls live. So that way you can see how I talk to motivated sellers, how I try to lock up wholesale deals. And so that way you can better your sales skills and better your skills when it comes to talking to motivated sellers. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the video because it's going to be very educational and help you tremendously on your real estate journey. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. But other than that, let's get right into it. I'm going to start calling leads. So let me get go ahead and I'm going to open up my CRM on one screen. And on the other screen, I am going to open up my uh, comping platform. And for me, I use PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one real estate investor tool. It lets you pull up any property across the country, and it gives you over 300 data points on that property. So it tells you all the information about the property, the size of it, the bedroom, bathroom count, year built, how long the person has owned it, transaction history, and it gives you, most importantly, the comparable market data, the comparable sales, MLS data, so that way you can figure out what the property is worth, and then from there, calculate your offer. So I'm going to go ahead and log in a prop stream, which I use to comp properties and figure out what to offer. Um, there's a link down below uh, for a seven day free trial on prop stream if you want to uh, try it out. But uh, prop stream is a great platform when it comes to uh, comping properties, figuring out what they're worth. And it's a great thing to have when you're talking to sellers. And this is why. So I have the property, I have prop stream pulled up here. And when I search up a property, what you're going to see is you are going to see uh, that you can click uh, comparable nearby listings and then it will give you all of the comparable sales in the area and what they sold for so that way you can figure out what to make what to offer for the property but then also when you're talking to the seller you want to sound like an expert and it gives you all of the information you need about the property here to sound like an expert when talking to the seller but I'm actually getting a call coming in right now. So let's see what this is. This is a call for Jacob. Hello. Hello, is this is Jacob. This is. Hey, Jacob, this is Ashley White. Just giving you a call back. Yeah, uh, I was probably giving you a call to make you an offer for your property. Um. Okay, so um, all right, I thought you was a different Jacob. So that's okay though. Yeah, which property are we talking about? I'm uh, not sure. You actually might be calling me interested in one of my properties. Yes, I am. Whitfield? Yes. Uh, Winfield? Yeah, let me get that information pulled back up one second. Okay. Yeah, the one in Indianapolis. Yep. Yes, correct. Yeah, but we have, um, uh, we have a hedge fund buyer that has been um, asking about that deal for about three or four days, and they're, they're wanting to to move forward with it. Yeah, so thing um, is, so we're, we're going to need a much quicker close on that deal than what a hedge fund can do. Right, right. So I'll I'll just have to get back to you. Can you text me what their closing window is, how many days they'll close in, and I'll see if that's possible, and then I'll get back to you? Yeah, perfect. Um, I'll text that over to you. And then also, if if for some reason um, you can kind of like convince the seller, we can, we can have the buyer put down a bigger earnest money because, okay. um, you know, does the buyer so want a due diligence period or no? Um, so they, they want to at least be able to inspect the, inspect the property. Um, but yeah, um, let me, I'll take you over what, what they, what they're needing and then, and then we'll go from there. And then, okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I'll look for that text and then I'll get back in touch with you. Thank you, Jacob. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. So that was actually somebody that had a buyer for one of our deals. It's a hedge fund buyer though. And we need to get that deal closed in seven days and a hedge fund can't close that fast. So that that's probably not going to work. But anyways, that's not a seller. That was me talking to a buyer, but that's good education for you anyways. Um, but yeah, let me get back to what I was showing you. And that is prop stream gives you all the information about the property, bedroom, bathroom, square footage, all this info so that way when you're on the phone with the seller you sound like an expert and that really matters right you need to sound like an expert in real estate when on the phone with the seller in order to get them to trust you and in order to have them sell you their property so we use that um, when talking to sellers and then we also use 
my offer calculator, which is available at jacobblank.com slash shop. And we use this offer calculator while we're on the phone with motivated sellers in order to calculate our offer. So we figure out what the property is worth on PropStream. We plug that into our calculator that we get at jacobblank.com slash shop. We plug that into our calculator, which I'll show you. And then from there, the calculator calculates all of the math for us and it gives us our MAO, our maximum allowed offer. All right, so here's the calculator. So this is the calculator that's available at jacobblank.com slash shop. All you do is plug in the info that you get from PropStream and then it runs all the math for you and it spits out your MAO, the maximum allowed offer and gives you an offer range to make the seller. Um, so yeah, definitely check out this offer calculator at jacobblank.com slash shop. But now let's get into the call. So I'm gonna queue up the dialer so that way we can make calls to sellers. Let's do it. So I'm dialing and uh, I will resume the recording once I have a seller on the phone. Let's get it. Michael, the playback right away. At the tone, please record your message. When you finished recording, no you answer, have gotta leave or a voicemail. press one for more options. Hey Michael, was calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Give me a call back as soon as you can so I can make you that cash offer for your property. And then you're always going to want to double dial and send a text. So right now I'm sending a text. Hey, was calling to give you the offer for your property. Call me back. Thanks. And then I am going to double dial. And then in my CRM here, I am going to click call attempt one and set it up on a nurture campaign. So our system automatically follows up through text and email. So we'll see if he answers. If he does, uh, we'll, we'll chat with him and make him an offer. But yeah, I hope I hope these videos are going to be very educational. As you saw, I just got a call from a buyer. We talked to a buyer already. I showed you the system that we use to comp the properties, the offer calculator. Now we're going to talk to a bunch of motivated sellers. The tone, leave a message. I'll call you back right away. Now we're going to talk to a bunch of motivated sellers, which is super amazing as well. So let's get right into it. Okay. I was calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Yeah. I'm calling to give you the offer. You filled out a form online for the property in four, yeah. for the property in four city. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So that property in forest city, a uh, couple questions for you while I calculate my offer. First off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? I just don't want to live in that area. I have children that live over in a certain part of that. That's part of the day. Okay. That's too hard to be up keep. Okay. How much are you looking to get for it? Uh, I couldn't, you know, as much as I can. Okay. You're looking to get as much as you can for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Any idea of what number that would be? I mean, it's a little bit too rural for us. That's why for the sake of time, I'm just trying to see what number you're looking to get because it, it might be just an area that we're not interested in investing in. Yeah. Maybe like 25,000. 25. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too rural for us. Um, and I don't think it would be a property that we are interested in. Unfortunately, I wish you the best though. Thank you. Yep. All right. You have a good rest of your day. All right. So unfortunately that property was in the middle of nowhere. And some of those we're doing nationwide online ads through Facebook and uh, Google. And so we're getting a lot of leads that are in the middle of nowhere too, but then we're also getting leads in major cities. And sometimes just the leads, they just, it's not going to be a deal that we're going to be able to wholesale because there's not going to be any buyers in that market. So that's why I cut right to the chase with her because it's in an area where we can't really do a deal. The, the population of the town is probably like under a thousand people. Let's move on to the next uh, call. Please leave your message for no answer. three zero. We're going to double dial. You always want to double dial. Got to get them on the phone. We're trying to make a deal happen today. Now. Please leave your message for three no zero. No answer. It's going straight to voicemail. Going to leave a voicemail. Going to send them a text. Um, and we're going to move on to the next phone call. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 
We're going to put the nurture campaign. We're going to move on to the next call. Let's keep going. Let's get somebody on the phone. Got to ring them out, ring them out, ring the calls out, get somebody on the phone. You got to talk to motivated sellers, tons of them every single day. And that's how you're going to do deals. The more conversations you have with motivated sellers, the more offers you make, the more deals you're going to get, hands down. All right, we're calling. Not many people are picking up today. It's a Friday. So some Fridays, you're going to get more people answering the phone. And some Fridays, people are just clocked out. Hello, are you there? I'm here. Awesome. Calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online? Yeah. Awesome. For the property in Anderson, California, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We spoke yesterday about it. Uh, my team member uh, is supposed to take a look at it and give me a second opinion. I don't think he's done that yet, actually. So I'll call you back later today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Louie, you got to look at that California deal. I wanted one of my sales guys to give me a second opinion on that one because I don't know that we can offer as much as they're looking to get. Let's keep dialing. Okay, you're gonna look at it, sweet. All right, we're dialing, let's get somebody else on the phone. Nobody's answering. Yeah. Hey, I'm to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online? Uh, I haven't got a form yet. Oh, well, you filled out a thing on Facebook looking for an offer for your property? Yes. Yeah. In Williamson? Awesome. I'm calling to give you that offer. Do you have a second to chat? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So first off, while I'm calculating my offer, I got a couple questions for you. Is there is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? I don't want to live in that area. Okay, so you're just looking to move? Okay. Yeah. All right. Is the zip code 26187 or no? I'm not sure what it is right now. I, I'm not looking at the address. Okay. Um, what's the name on title? Is it your name or is it? Uh... It's, it's, my, it, it's my name. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can get the property pulled up here. How old is the roof? I'll be honest. I don't know. I just bought it a year ago and the people that was living it moved out like six months ago. I, I really don't know a whole lot about it. Okay. It was a rental property for you? No, no, I traded another piece of property for it, and then I want to sell this one because I found another place that I want to buy and live in. Okay, so live in. is this one uh, vacant right now, or are you living in it? It's vacant. Okay, does it need some work, or is it in pretty good shape? It needs work on the bottom floor. Uh, it needs the complete floors redone on the bottom you know, on the first floor, the second floor is fine. Okay, what about the kitchen and bathrooms? The bathroom's fine, so we got one, the kitchen, like I said, it's downstairs. It's a pretty small it's town, floors. so I don't know. You know, all similar. the floors have to be redone downstairs. Got it. Okay, what about the kitchen and the bathrooms? Are they needing some work or like a... Like the a... bathroom's fine, the kitchen needs a floor. Okay, what about the kitchen cabinets and countertops, though? Is that in good shape? The, or? The, oh, the countertops are fine. The cabinet, it needs replaced. The stove, is, it's fine. It works. Okay. How much money are you looking to get for the house? Well, another guy called me. I thought it was you guys offered me two grand. I mean, I, I really, I really I just don't know right now. He offered I mean, you. What, yeah. what is your offer? He, how much did he offer you? He offered me 20000 but he hasn't called me back, so, I mean. Okay. What would you offer? Uh, let me see what I'd be able to do for you. One second. 
Okay. We'd be around the same mark. Is that something? We'd probably be around like 15,000. Would you be interested in that? How fast could I get it done if I accepted your offer? Like 21 days. Mm. Why would it take that long? Because that's how long our company takes. We got to do it. We got to. That's how long it takes to transfer title and everything. A title company has got to do all the paperwork, a title search, all of that. Um, I didn't know because the longer I use, she usually takes like a week. Who? Uh, it, got it. I yeah, I hear you. But, but, but our company's policy is, is 21 days. We're not going to be able to close on this property sooner than 21 days. Okay. Is that well, is that okay with you? That that's fine with me. All right, I'm gonna send it over for fifteen thousand to your email. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so once you get that, uh, go ahead and sign it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Okay. So. Normally, you're going to want to keep them on the phone when you send a contract and get them to sign. Don't let them off the phone till they sign and, you know, say, hey, can you open up your email while we're on the phone? But this deal, it's in a really small town. Um, and that's why, you know, we can close sooner than 21 days. But I didn't want to get any less time than 21 days on this one because it's going to be hard to sell. Um, here, I'll show you the, the town on it so this is the town it'll load this is the town pretty small town in the middle of nowhere so i don't know that we're going to be able to sell it for sure so that's why i want at least 21 days and that's why i didn't uh keep him on the phone when he's looking over the contract because um, because I'm not really interested in this deal that much. You know what I mean? Like, it's really not going to be the best deal. So I didn't care to keep him on the phone. We'll see if he signs. If he signs, great. If he doesn't, it is what it is. This deal is probably not that great. So I'm going to send this contract, uh, and then we'll, we will uh, keep calling and hopefully find a good deal in a good market. All right, so that contract sent. I am going to resume calling on the dialer. Let's see. We're calling. Let's see who we can get on the phone. And again, guys, there's links in the description for every single thing you could possibly need to wholesale real estate. So make sure to check that out. We have a call coming in. Let's answer this. This is a call for Jacob from the seller. Hey, John, are you there? I'm on the road. Who's this? Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online? For an Sorry? You filled out a form online a couple days ago for an offer for your property? I'm call yeah. I'm calling to give you the offer. Do you have a second to chat? Well, I'm on the road, so I'm not you know, doing anything else. So go oh, okay, cool. So I just need to ask you a couple questions while I calculate this offer. Um, first off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? We're getting older and uh, the acre, um, 1.05 acres, and a lot of it's forest, okay. and the house is big for my wife she has stage four kidney failure so uh, you know we're looking probably to get something smaller and uh gotcha. all right getting older and sorry about that with your wife you know that sucks yeah, it sucks, but yeah. Life is, uh, what is it? They love yeah well well i hope i can help you out so I got the property pulled up here. Um, how old is the roof on it? Uh, the, ins 
inspector said it's about 10 years old. So he said you got about 10 more years on the Okay. And then do you have a central AC unit, air conditioning unit? No AC, but it's uh, electric based for heat. And we have, uh, you know, air conditioners in our windows in our rooms and stuff. Okay. Window unit ACs in your, are they window unit air conditioners in your uh, rooms? Yeah, I mean, I'll sell them with the house. So you keep them. Yeah. It's not in Blake's Lee, right? No, it's in Albright, so south yeah. of Blake's Lee. Yeah. I'm trying to get it to pull up. It, it's not coming up. It's weird. The pictures of the Blakesby one are pulling up. The name on title I have is Hubbard Walter. Is that right or no? No. My no. title is my name, John Purse. Okay, let me let me try to get it pulled up a different way. It's uh the six twelve six twelve scenic drive. Oh, okay, that's why. Let me get that right. All right. Well, Tina Drive, Albrightsville, 1810. Got it. All right, I got it. As far as the inside condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? You can use a little touch up, but uh, it's in, uh, I mean, the rug and carpets. We recently steam cleaned them. We bought a, a cleaner and uh, the rugs are in great shape. <clears throat> the paint in the rooms are in good shape. Okay. The paint in the living room could use a little touch up when the, whoever whoever painted it, they didn't go fall to the ceiling very well. Okay. So it looks like, you know, those little brushes that are square. Yeah. To go down or put a cup stencil up there somehow or just like it. that. We were there. So. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, what what type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate for mica or are they like rock, like granite? No, they're laminate. Okay. All right. How much are you looking you, to get for the house? Well, my credit and credit karma and uh, experience say that there's about eighty thousand dollars in equity. So if I can get seventy five thousand dollars, I'd be a happy camper. So but I so, have that off from, I, I tried doing this a while back, but some of the investors were willing to pay a little bit more. They were bringing it up to close to 90000 95 uh, to rent, make a short term or, or a long term rental house. Got it. Up, here, mean, the, up what, here, the rentals would go like 2300 What happened with mortgage. them? Why didn't you sell it to them? Any particular reason? My wife, she was, like I said, she had stage four kidney failure and we were going to see the, the doctors that were in this. Yeah. Got it. And okay. Our plan, our plan is to eventually sell the house, maybe buy a truck with a camper, and but we have to make sure she's stable. And she's actually doing pretty well right now. And, Good. You know, yeah. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with stuff, but it's called the GFR as a rating. And she was at 24. At 20, you're eligible for a transplant. So we were surprised that it went up to 28. Mm. So she's doing well. You know, she's on her ass all the time. She used to love, you know, buying donuts, candy, yeah. sweets, and what have you. And uh, can't be doing that. So we're, you know, we're, we're feeling a little bit more stable now. And good. As long as we find a doctor that's in her area. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, so that being said, you know, if I was able to make you an offer, you know, that, that's, that works for you guys, how soon would you want to do something? Would we be able to make a, uh, you know, start the process on it? Um, at least by the summertime. Okay. So that would be good. Uh, that, that sounds good. Um, okay. So, the house up a little better and make it nicer 
Uh, I'll do all the carpeting in the house, all the bedrooms. Okay. Um, if I, if I, yeah. you know, I think, I think we'd want to be a little bit lower than 75, but I might be able to talk to the finance department and get them to agree to 75. If I was able to okay. get them to agree to 75,000, could we send the paperwork over to you today and set the close to be like at the end of June? Um, so in like 60 days, um, and that way we can put the funds aside for you. And then basically whenever you're ready to sell, we'll be ready to buy it. Would we, would that be something you're interested in doing? At this point, both of us, I'm a disabled veteran and I go to the VA in Coachville and both of us have doctor's appointments all the way from end of this month. I'm getting eye surgery mm. into May, July. Some, some back August. surgery and in July. Uh, I think August is the, the farthest out that we have on the appointments. So we don't want to change those. Okay, you so know? you don't you don't really want to sell or move until after August. Yeah. Correct. Okay, that would be fine. Would you Would you be interested in us? You know, if if we did the paperwork, we could get the funds put aside for you in an account for you. So that way, basically, the finance department's ready to release those funds and buy your house when you're ready to sell, and we could set the close to be at the end of August. Or maybe early September. Um, that's a, that's something that we would look at. We would have to discuss it more in depth. Okay. And make sure want to do. Okay. But, well, uh, well, let's do this. I mean, I, I'm pretty close to the set. I think we'd get pretty close to the 75, if not at it. When I was just running my math right, right now, it was saying that we had to be at sixty six thousand five hundred and thirty two dollars for it yeah. but i think i could get that pushed up uh to what you guys are yeah, looking to get i don't i don't choose the equity you know yeah whoever in the world do it and it's that so you it's own the property what, you own the property free and clear right no the bank owns it but do you owe anything on it our mortgage 143,000 Oh, so you want you want seventy five thousand in your pocket plus the mortgage of one hundred and forty. That's correct. Yeah, so that so that I'm means you're asking. $1, you're asking. Like a you're asking okay. two hundred and fifteen thousand for the house, pretty much. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, months ago, I had like ninety five thousand in equity, which sucked for the. I should have done something at that point. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically uh, two fifteens. Like one just sold for two twenty, one just sold for two twenty five, one sold for one forty remodeled. I I think we would be a good. Yeah. We'd probably be a good amount lower than than two fifteen. We'd probably be around one eighty, and so we could put we could put forty grand in your pocket. No, nah, that won't work. Yeah. Okay, seventy five. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought you wanted. I thought you wanted around like seventy five for it, but no. No, 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 no. I owe one hundred and forty three on it, and like I said, it's just below eighty thousand equity. And yeah, um, I have to sell it myself or through a realtor. Yeah, you'd have to do you that know, to I'll... get to get out of it what you're looking to get. You'd need to sell it through a realtor. Um. Exactly. I think we can we could help you though. Um, we actually do do a have a program where we are able to help you sell the property, um, and yeah. and we market the property in a couple different ways. That's better than working with a realtor. Do you want me to kind of tell you a little bit more about how we do that? Going into a novation pitch now. You already have a realtor. Have a re yeah. Okay. Have you signed a listing agreement with them yet? No. Okay. Well then, below being able to uh, purchase another house or refinance. Okay. It's at like six twenty forty. Got it. But so, so how we would help you compared to a realtor when you're ready to sell? How we could help you is we do market the property like a realtor in one way, where we put the property on the MLS, the multiple listing service which is like the traditional way to market and sell a property. That's what a realtor would do. And uh, right. the 
we do that, but we target the listing kind of more towards quick close cash offers. So that way you get a good, easy sale. So we market it on the MLS in a little bit of a different way than they would. So we get better offers. And then the second way we market the property is over the years working in this market, we've built up a robust network of realtors, investors, and buyers that are that we're connected with. And we would email out your property to our connections. And that way we're able to get offers very quick and gain a lot of traction and get good offers. And so unlike a realtor, we market the property in, in a couple different ways. We handle all the paperwork for you. There's no open houses, no real inspections. You're still getting an as is cash offer. And so we're able to basically provide you the same easy process um, as if I gave you a cash offer today, but while helping you maximize on what you get out of the property. So right. that's one Why of our programs we offer. All right, why don't you do this? Email me your name and your information and your company. And if the real estate agent that we have um, cannot do what we want to do, then I'll call you. Okay, sounds good. I will send you an email. Oh, okay. All right, John, you have a good rest of your day. I thank you for your time today. All right. What was your name? My name's Jacob, and we're National Home Buyers. I'm going to shoot you an email right now. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you Bye. So All right. So I just sent an email uh, to him. I thought he wanted, I thought he wanted 75, um, but he actually wanted 75,000 on top of his mortgage. This happens sometimes where sellers don't understand how it works, how I can't just give you 75. I got to pay off the mortgage too. They need to say the total amount that they're asking. So I thought the total amount he was asking was 75 and that was a deal for sure because the property's worth between two hundred and thirty to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I thought we had a good deal on our hands, but he misspoke. But he is interested in maximizing, and he is interested in listing his property on the market. So I instantly switched. I instantly pivoted to a novation pitch, where we pitched the concierge service of helping them sell their property on the market so they can maximize their profits. Now let's keep calling. We got to chase after a deal. Let's get somebody on the phone. That's actually a good opportunity. All right, we're calling. All right, we're dialing. Let's get someone on the phone. Is Santasha Park, South Carolina? No. All right, and we are dialing. Sorry, one of my sales guys was asking if we had any bites on one of his deals that we're trying to sell. But we are calling. Let's go. Let's get somebody good on the phone. I have uh, signed a contract with someone already, so oh, no. I just uh, just got the documents all done uh, yesterday, actually. Oh, no. I've been trying to call you ever since you filled out the form online. How much did you sell the property for? 87 dollars Wow. You sold it, and you signed a contract for the Franklin Street property? Right? 
Uh, yeah, for the, the house on Franklin Street, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, for 87.5. Shoot, I've been trying to reach you uh, uh, yeah. for like for like uh, 20 days now, calling you three times a day. I couldn't get a hold of you. I apologize. I, I had, I've, I've been traveling for work, and I was home last weekend for Easter weekend. And I uh, had somebody that come by and uh, they offered that. And uh, well, I, I decided to go ahead and go with it. I apologize. Good news. No worries. I wouldn't have been able to pay more than that. And that's a really good deal. So congratulations. And I hope that works out. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Of course, man. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. So that guy. Signed with somebody else already. I've been trying to reach him since the lead came in three times a day for 16 days. Oh. And uh, sorry, I got a live audience. My girl, my girlfriend's watching. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the he didn't answer. But good, good news is I would have been upset that he didn't answer if it was a deal at the price. You know what I mean? But but. 87.5, some local person must have offered him that because that's like full retail value. So that one's not, not a real loss. It was a really small town too. Uh, but let's keep calling. Let's get somebody on the phone and make a deal happen. No answer there. Let's keep going. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. Um, Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I got your email too. Uh, we've been trying to reach you. Are you there? She hung up. We're going to call her back. Got a double dial. Got a <clears throat> double dial. On. Don't know why she hung up. Um, all right. Let's see. And no way. No answer. Let's move on to the next one. Let's keep calling. Send her a text. All right, we're dialing. We got a call coming back. Oh, that's something else. Come on, I want to have a good combo with somebody. Try to get a deal. We're dialing. Hello? Hello? Hello, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Uh, no answer. Call me back when you get a chance. Nothing has Thanks. been recorded. Record no your message. answer. Let's move on to the next one. This is one of those Fridays where nobody's answering. I want to get a couple more people on the phone for you, but the name of the game is just, you got to make as many dials as you can. I'd say shoot for a hundred phone calls a day, minimum. Um, try to have 20 conversations try to make, you know, 20 offers, you know, rule of thumb, like you need to make an offer to everybody you speak to. Like that's a rule. Don't. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Hey, Linda, how are you doing? It's, uh, it's Jacob calling. <laughs> Linda, are you there? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? It's Jacob calling the one that made you an offer for your property. I don't think anybody, she can't hear me. I wonder why. Um, she should be able to hear me. That's a super good California deal that I'm working on. I'm gonna call her back in a minute. Um, that one I've been following up with for a couple of weeks. That could be a, like a 50K assignment fee in California. It's kind of in the forest though. All right, we're dialing. But like what I was saying is it's a rule. Every person you get on the phone with, you have to give them an offer. Do not get off the phone without making somebody an offer. You never know if that price is going to work. So 
or if you're going to be able to get a hold of them again. So you got to shoot your shot. Shooters shoot. You ain't going to get deals if you don't shoot your shot. Come on, let's get somebody on the phone. What other tips can I give you? You know, I'm kind of direct with the sellers. I get right to it um, because I've just been doing this so long. You know, I just need to ask a few questions to determine if it needs a remodel or how much work it needs. And then from there, I run the comps, calculate my offer, and I'm ready to go. Um, you know, I don't really lollygag too much. Um, but building rapport, making sure they trust you, building a relationship with them is important. Um, I am kind of quicker with it now, though. I kind of just get right to the point because I put across through the phone that I'm an experienced investor. Hello? Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? Why didn't he answer? We're going to redial him. See, he hung up. See, sometimes they'll hang up. Um... <laughs> He was going to talk to his wife. I spoke to this guy a couple days ago. He wants 150000 All right, offer. Hello. That. Hey, it's Jacob checking in with you. I offered you 150000 for your house the other day. Yes, sir. Awesome. Did you get a chance to talk to the wife about it? Yeah. Um, We're going to have to uh, wait till the kids get out for summertime, though. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to make the make the deal so that way we can put the funds aside for you and that way once they get out we'll have everything ready to go to buy it. How does this work, man? So, this is how it works. Okay. I'll I'll just send you a one-page agreement. It's an as-is purchase. Um and I would go over that with you. Once we get that signed, the finance department can put the funds aside for you in an account so that way when the close date comes, we're ready to buy it right away. And then I'll send that paperwork over to the title company. A title company is a neutral third party that handles all the paperwork and the recording with the county when it comes to closing the real estate transaction. And they'll do what's called a title search after they collect some info from you. They'll do a title search to make sure the title's clear and all that. And then they'll prepare everything for the transaction. And then we kind of just wait till the date that we set for the close date, which would be whatever date you want when the kids get out. Um, uh -huh. And then and then on that day, the title company would have you sign closing docs. They'd have me sign closing docs. Our company would wire the money to the title company. And then around noon, it would record with the county assessor. Um, and then the deal's done. They either send you a wire or a check uh, for the payment. And then that's how it works. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, I know all this is legitimate. I can send you our website and I can send you proof of funds, a bank statement of ours to show you that we have the money to buy the property. Uh, and there's a bunch of testimonial videos on our website of us with past customers that you can watch. Um, but yeah, it's legit. Um, you know, I think you saw our website already like a week ago when you filled out the form online, but I can resend you the information about us. Yeah, so resend me the information about it and everything. Okay. Uh, and and we'll go from there. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. You want me to text that info or or email it to you? Uh, you can text it to me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and text you our website and then check that out when you get a chance and then and then get back to me and we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right, buddy. Sounds good. All right, Brad. You have a great rest of your day. You too. So he's not really looking to do something till like the end of June, early July. So that's why he's kind of skeptical about getting the process started right now because it's months out. But the thing is, is in real estate, wholesaling real estate, it's all about stacking the paper. And what do I mean by that? It's about getting as many properties under contract as possible because that means we have the right to purchase them. And that means one day we will get paid for that contract if we're able to sell the deal. And so locking up a deal right now, even if the close is months and months out, we secured the deal and that's what matters. So stack the paper, stack the contracts. Even if the close of escrow is six months out, get that deal under contract because now you control that asset. You control the sale of that asset and you control that wholesale deal.
And that's what matters. So we'll try to lock him into place for sure. All right, I'm back on the dialer. We're going to try to get somebody else on the phone. Close the door, please. Thank you. I'm the guest. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get somebody on the phone. So the dialer I'm using right now, it's the smart dialer from smartphone. It dials four people at a time. So it helps us get people on the phone quicker because we're not just dialing one at a time and then they're not answering. We're dialing four people at a time and it's feeding me the people that answer. That's why getting some type of a dialer when you're making calls really speeds up the process and lets you get on the phone and have more conversations. But even using a dialer today, not a lot of people are picking up. We've had a couple good combos on this on this video though, which is good. I'm just, you know, I'm searching for a good combo for two reasons. Reason one is I want to lock up a good deal, right? And reason number two is I want a good combo so that way it's super educational and brings a lot of value to you guys watching this video. So that's why. If you guys are interested in using a dialer or interested in any of the tools that I use when I wholesale real estate, again, there's links in the description for all the different tools that I use for wholesaling. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online for Jersey Street. She hung up right away. So we're gonna dial her back. When you're doing your intro, I, you kind of, you know, you need to come in with high energy and then you need monotone professionalism. And then on the end, you need a question tone and you need to tell them a few things when you're calling people out of the, hello. hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you that offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Uh, right now, look, I had a contract with somebody, but they have a message or call me within almost all week, actually. And I want to get rid of it now. I ain't got time to be sitting and waiting. Would I get in trouble if I just go ahead? Because I haven't signed the uh, regular papers. You haven't. So you signed a contract with them, but you haven't signed. Uh, well, I haven't signed the uh, regular papers that I got to sign when they foreclose on. I'm not okay for the closing one. On. So do you have this one listed on the market? Uh, I have no idea what I've been doing. I've just been trying to get rid of it. Did you work with a realtor and did you sign a, an agreement with a realtor for them to try to sell it for you? I, um, I went through home buyers. Home buyers. How much are you looking to get for the house? Um, well, I was looking for 20, but they were going to give me 15. Okay. They were going to give you 15. You were looking for 20. Yeah, they were going to give me 15, so I'll settle for that. I just want I mean, you know. Okay. And my mom, my mom left it to me when she passed for years ago, and I just want to get rid of it. All right. Well, let me see what I'd be able to do for you. But, um, yeah, it can be a problem. Since you already signed an agreement, you kind of need to get that one canceled before you enter another agreement. Well, I've tried calling him. He just answered my calls. He's not messaged me back. Okay. I mean, I've tried everything to get touch with this man. And, I mean, it's, I don't know what else to do. Okay. If I if I send you a contract for uh, – what's the best you'd do? Uh, 11. 11? Yeah. Okay, because I was thinking around 10. Um, oh. I guess I could do 11. It's oh, not okay. It's not worth that much, you know. And it, does it and it looks like it needs a decent amount of work, right? Uh yeah, uh, well, see, I haven't been staying there. Uh, all I know of is the brief. I'm not a carpenter or painter or nothing like that. Okay? All right, so, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to send you, you've been staying there or you're not living there right now? Um, no, I'm not staying there. My mom passed in her house and so did my brother and I just can't go myself to stay there. Okay. All right. Let me see here. I'm going to, uh, uh, I see the name on title is Ann Wynn. Is that right? Yes, that's my mother. Okay. All right. I'm going to send this to your email right now. Um, and... 
And uh, are you able to access your email while we're on the phone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and open up your email. Okay. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Okay. I'm locking this up. It is listed active for sale on Zillow, which is not no, great, but it's listed for 28. I'm going to try to sell it quick for like 15. National home yeah. buyers. Yeah, we're not na we're national home buyers. National home buyers. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me go to here. I don't see it. I'm about to send it right now. I'm about to click send. One second. Am I gonna have to get out? No. Well, man, you get in back. Okay, I just sent it. You'll see an email come through from National Home Buyers. I'm just locking this up. I think I can resell it quick, maybe for 15. I have a couple pocket buyers in uh in Montgomery, Alabama. So what email did you send it to? I sent it to, let me see, one second. I sent it to this email. I'm not getting it. What do I look under? Uh, it will be an email from National Home Buyers Docu Sign. Maybe refresh your inbox. Not that it's I don't know. I'm still not finding it. Understand? Okay, I got it. National Home Buyers. All right. So go ahead. Go in there. Click review. Yeah. And then, yeah, I got it. All right. And then let me know when you see, when you open it up and you see purchase agreement for real estate in front of you. I uh, see review document. Okay. So click that and then it should open the document. Hey, if my phone hangs up, uh, I'm not really charged. I got 98% on it now. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and open that up. Do you see purchase agreement for real estate? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to go over this with you real quick and then we can get it signed. My system just calmed out. Oh, shoot. Try to go back into there again. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Uh, can I call you back in about 30 minutes? Yeah, you can call me back in 30 minutes. What is your name? My name's Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Bye. Bye. It sounds like she's in the car and stuff, but she's ready to sign right away. Like, there's a contract with another company. Who knows about all that? They haven't answered her, so I'm going to try to contract it and get it closed ASAP. That's a deal that's, like, hit or miss because it's already been listed, but it's in Birmingham, Alabama. Um so I have some pocket buyers out there that I might be able to just quickly sell it. So I'm thinking it's worth a shot. Um, so yeah, let's, let's try to get one more seller on the phone. Um, and then I'll wrap up this video. All right, we're dialing. Get somebody on the phone. Come on, let's get somebody to answer. But as you can see, I have a pretty standard sales process. Oh, I was talking about my intro a minute ago. When you're doing an intro, you need those different tonalities, high enthusiasm, monotone professionalism, and then a question tone at the end. You want to tell them these three things. Every, everybody needs to know these three things. Everybody needs to know these three things in your intro. They need to know who you are, why you're calling, and why they should listen. Otherwise, they're going to hang up on you. 
So when I do my intro, I say, hey, this is Jacob with National Home Buyers. I'm calling you because you filled out a form online for an offer for your property. And then I'm telling them why I'm call why they should listen. I'm calling to give you the offer. So that's why they should listen because I'm calling to give them the offer. And then a question tone at the end. I'm asking them for the shortest amount of time. Do you have a second? Everybody has a second. So that way they say yes, their brain cues yes. If I said, is this a good time to talk? They could easily say, no, it's not a good time to talk. So I just ask for a second of their time. In your intro, they need to know who you are, why you're calling, and why they should listen. And you need three different tonalities. All right. Let's see, we're dialing. I just missed a call from someone. Let's 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 call them back. Let's see if they answer. Hello, you reached the voicemail for Patrick. Leave me your name, number, and no answer. All right, let's call. All right, let's see if somebody answers. But other than that, I think we're going to wrap up this video. Not bad. We had a couple good calls, sent out a couple purchase contracts, made a few offers. So overall, not a bad session. Um, the last video I posted last week of me calling motivated sellers, we actually locked up a pretty juicy deal um, calling uh, on live on the video, which was sweet. Um, but yeah, this one, this one was pretty good too. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, all the tools that I use in my business, like the dialer that I'm using, the offer calculator, the prop stream, all the links for these tools are in the description down below. Um, but other than that, I hope I gave you guys some good educational content here, some value on uh, wholesaling real estate. So that way you can get more deals, talk to sellers better, and ultimately have more success. So if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.